So I did get a question about saving instances for WBPP. Whether you want to load in a particular set of lights and flats and darks. Uh, such that maybe you want a history of all your different objects in WPPP, how it was set up. So that way, if you are at getting new data, uh, it's really easy to go back into WPPP and then just add that additional data in to continue on with your processing. So you would just load in your bias, darks, flats, lights, set your calibration parameters, all, all those things like you normally would. But instead of running it, go ahead and drag the instance off. If you double click on it, it'll open up the, the script and there'll be a huge amount of parameters saved. One of which will be towards the very bottom and it will be this groups ID and value. Double clicking that will have this just monstrously huge value. And that's actually what's saving all your different lights and flats and, and all those and the locations for them. So it's really important once you pull your instance off that you don't start moving files around because it won't know where to find them anymore. I went ahead and made a, a couple different ones here. And the way you open WPPP script, the easiest way is right clicking and go execute in the global context. And it's going to take it a second because what it's going to do is open the script, which normally takes a second. And then it's going to use that really long checksum value to find all the files that you had stored in that particular instance, load them into the script, then open the script for you. So after you run it, just be patient and it'll come up. Now the script open, it has all my lights and flats and everything loaded in there. And then if I had gotten more data, you can go ahead and click lights, find those new light files, add them in there, and then be sure you update your script. The script actually, you can't replace it because it's currently running. So what you're going to have to do is drag it off, make a new instance. And then once you have that new instance, you can go ahead and close this one, delete the old one. And be sure to rename it something that you're going to remember. And then you'll have a nice new updated one. The other thing you could do is maybe you don't want them on your first window here with all your other processing icons. So you could drag them like to the last window down here and then you'll have your main view and then the one in the back can be where you have your WPPP scripts that you're, you know, will always be there and you can go ahead and add new data as you acquire new data. Big thing though, be sure to highlight them all, right click, and go save selected icons. And then you can just save them to your desktop as WBPP. You can double click that anytime. It's gonna open it up here in this last window for you. And, uh, and then you'll have WPPP saved. Hope this helped.